Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm in the very picturesque village of Carn Lock on the Antrim coast in Northern Ireland. This is Carn Lock Harbour and this is the Carn Lock village. What we're going to do in today's video, we're going to go and look for a waterfall called the Cranny Falls. And to find that waterfall, we're going to explore an old railway line. Uh, it's an industrial railway we're going to explore, not a passenger line. The village has never had a civilian railway, but it has had an industrial railway or two actually and there's the bridge there and the railway line would have come along around above the harbour so let's go up there onto the bridge and we can explore this now as i said there were no civilian railway to the village but there were two railways that would have gone over that bridge so it have actually have been dual gauge one of the railways was three foot six gauge the other one was Four foot eight and a half, yes, four foot eight and a half. I'm not getting my English and Irish gauges mixed up. It was very rare, but not unique. But for the island of Ireland, it was a four foot eight and a half inch gauge railway. So basically, British standard gauge would have ran over there. That is the Londonderry Arms Hotel, which is where I am currently staying. Go look here. There's a plaque. It does say Carn Lock Railway and Harbour, and it was built in 1853 all of this so we're going to go up here and we'll start to have a look so from here the four foot eight and a half inch gauge railway i understand was a gravity work line and that's the one we're going to walk up it was a one in 25 gradient up from the town and the three foot six inch gauge railway would have been worked originally by steam and then by diesel so we come to here that level at that point but it's going to go up we're here above the harbour and there's the, the coast. We'll go and have a look at the view of the coast because it really is quite spectacular. In fact, the whole Northern Irish coast is amazing. It's somewhere everyone should come and see. Obviously, further around the coast, you've got the Giant's Causeway. There's a railway there, the Giant's Causeway and Bushmills Railway, which is also worth having a ride on. It's another narrow gauge railway. And then if you were to con keep going around the coast that way, follow the road, you had to come to Larne and then eventually Belfast. So this is the Antrim coast, very, very beautiful stretch of British coastline. Now from here, you get quite a good view because if you look over there, you can see the hills. You can see a big scar on the hills. That's some of the quarries, which um, you know the minerals would have been taken out from. But the other railway, the narrow gauge one, would have run along and off up there. And that's the one which was worked by steam. I believe the locomotive they had was called the Otter and she was built in Kilmarnock by Andrew Barclay's son. So not that far away, just across the sea over in Scotland. And then she was replaced by diesel. I'm not sure the exact date of when all this closed, when the railway activity was removed from here. There is supposedly an article in the railway magazine in 1954 mentions there still being some railway activity. So you can imagine a dual gauge track curving off round there into the harbour and then the dual gauge track would have run over this bridge so we're going to cross the bridge now the bridge we walked over over the main Carnlock's main street and the main coastal road around the Antrim coast there we go looking that way and another view looking that way looks like it's raining up on the hills I've come out of our coat I'm probably going to get wet but anyway that's all part of fun I suppose so we're going to walk we're going above the the rooftops now of the houses of Carn Lock. Now this must be the second of the bridges. There's a parallel road running along here. So yeah, we are now crossing another bridge over another street. So this is quite exciting. It's a bit like walking like an old city walls, you know, like in York or Chester, but of course it's not, it's an old railway. You can see now the gradient beginning. That's interesting, look there. That looks like possibly an old lime kiln. I understand there were lime kilns along here. Also, further up, there were was one of those um, industrial cable cars, which I, I think there's only about one left in the UK. They were very common around collieries. I have seen one in operation in Bosnia Herzegovina a few years ago. I don't have a video of it, but I have seen that was quite fascinating. So we're going to continue up here now. Um, it's going to be a fair walk up to, well, about a mile, I think, up to the waterfall. So I'm not going to show you all of it. I just want to get to here. We come, I reckon, somewhere around here. I can't be sure the exact location, but there was a junction between the two. So 
the three foot six inch gauge line would have gone that way and the gravity work line went straight ahead. So we're, we're, we're following the branch. I'll have to find out if there is a path along the other railway because I'd quite like to explore it, but I think not today because I think, as I said, well, the wind's getting up now. It looks like it's about to rain. I'm heading off up to a waterfall in the hills. Um, am I going to be soaked by the time I get there? We'll, we'll soon find out. Anyway, I'm going to continue onwards and upwards. So we're now just leaving the edge of Carnlock behind the edge of the village. You can probably see the gradient that we are, you know, it wasn't so obvious back there, but we are constantly going up. And it's a very nice path. It looks very easy to, you know, walk up. Um, I don't know if it's going to be like all the way up to the waterfall. The waterfall's not going to be right up there on the top of the hill. It's going to be somewhere along there. Now, as for this junction, I'm not sure exactly. I'm going to have to one day try and look at some old maps, but I've either just passed it. I can't see any obvious earthworks, but looking that way to where the sea is, I would have suggested it was probably back down there somewhere. Um, but I will have to, if I can ever find out, and I know it's a walk worth doing, maybe it's a video for another day. Anyway, I'm going to continue up this one average of while in 25 gradient to the waterfall. I've now reached a point on the railway where the gradient appears to be, you know, of one. It's not varying. It's the one in 25, just continuing nicely up out of Carnlock. As I mentioned, this was the railway, which was standard gauge, four foot eight and a half inches. If you want to ride railways, a four foot eight and a half inches on the island of Ireland, there is one big network which you can do that, and that is in Dublin. The Lewis trams are four foot eight and a half inches, but other than that, all mainline railways are five foot three inches, and then there's a few narrow gauge railways. So let's go and find this waterfall. I'm now just coming to the top of the incline, so that's looking back down towards Carnlock. That's interesting, a narrow gauge rail, they're making a sign can't quite work out what it says, something about no dogs, maybe it was private once. So, looking down towards Carnlock, there's actually a bridge here. Must have been like a farmer's um, occupation or bridge. We come to here, now it's about here where the incline would have ended and there'd have been various, you know, wagon ways bringing the stone from the quarry and then they would have put them on the wagons as the loaded wagons went down, they'd have pulled the other ones up. So this was, as I said, the standard gauge line. So you can see the quarry up ahead of us there, but the cranny falls are that way. So I think what I'm going to do now, I'm not going to be on an old railway. We might see some more quarries um, and then we'll keep going till we find this waterfall. I can hear the sound of water. I haven't yet reached the falls, but I have a nice view out to sea over there. I'm following this path around here. It has sort of the appearance of an old railway, but to my knowledge, I don't think it is, but it could have been maybe like a horse-worked tramway. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe you know more than I do. So if you'd like to comment, tell me this is an old railway or some form of wagonway. Let me know. I'll tell you what this reminds me of. It reminds me of the Peak District and the um, old Leaker Manifold Railway. I did a video once. If you look, have a look at this link on screen now. And I go and explore Fields Cave. And that's above where the Leaker Manifold Railway ran. Oh, look, there's the river down there. It just, just reminds me of it. It has that almost sort of Derbyshire-like feeling, but it's uh, Antrim. Let's continue that way to find a waterfall. It's getting more dramatic now and really quite exciting. The path I'm following has started to rise in gradient a bit, but look at that. There's one of the old quarries there. Slightly overgrown, but it's massive. It, it goes, yeah, uh, let's see if we can have a look. It goes right down, off, down there. That's, yeah, exciting. I would quite like to have a look, but I don't think I will today. Now we get to this big gate. Can we go in to the Cranny Falls? Maybe it's close. Well, it looks like we can just walk alongside. Uh, let's have a look. Okay. Maybe I'm not supposed to go in there, but because there is literally nothing stopping me. Let's continue. I suppose now this class is an urban exploration because I'm possibly not supposed to be here, but it makes it all the more fun. It's almost like they put a sign saying, not worth, I'm um, saying, please come and have a look. I wouldn't be so interested, but it's like, I feel like, yeah, it's more fun now. This is really exciting just following this ridge. So 
the waterfall's got to be quite soon. I can hear the, the river is quite close now. And whether this is all a quarry at this point, I'm not entirely sure, or is this a natural ravine which we're walking in? Whatever it is, it's exciting. And, um, ah, oh, yeah, there it is. I can see the waterfall ahead of us. So we're nearly there. We're nearly at our destination where we've come all the way up from the village of Carnlock to find. You can see the water down there. And uh, it's getting a little bit muddy, but anyway, that's all part of the fun. It's just round here. You should start to see it now, following the fence. I think it'll probably end in a dead end part, so that there's anywhere I can go. There's the ravine down there. Well, look at that. That's really impressive. And there's a, there's a bridge, so we can go and get a really nice view of it. Well, when I say a bridge, I mean more like a pier. Well, certainly this is a bridge. And then there's more water coming down there. And it's just like a pier that ends there. Purely for us to have a look at the waterfall. This is amazing. Look at that. I really like things like this. That's amazing. Brilliant. That's so cool. It'd be really quite exciting to go in there. I'm not going to, so I'm on my own. If I was to slip or something, I may never be found. But <laughs> just exciting. So this is the waterfall which we walked up an old railway to. And that's looking down. I've got to go all the way back down now. Go back and I think I'm going to go and have a pint in the Londonderry Arms. So from the Cranny Falls, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. Goodbye.